Okay, so here we are, back to Indian fusion. We are going to use the chapatis again, and this time uh, we're going to use arugula, apples, and cheddar cheese with a little bit of basil and olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt, and pepper. For all you salad lovers out there, this is the thing to do. So Leela Ben's going to give me one of her chapatis, which remember that when she made those chapatis in the frying pan, there was no oil or anything in that frying pan. It was just the frying pan alone. And this chapati, when you roll it, it's, uh, it's get hard if you cover, don't cover. So whenever you, you use just left chapati, you have to cover like this, so it gets soft. So when, it's when easy before to you use it, you put this top on. Right, yeah. So they, so they stay soft. Softer, yeah. Okay. Okay, so here we go. We got the chapati in front of us, and we're going to remember that smile that we were talking about earlier in the shape of a smile. Best we can. Then we're going to put some pieces of apple. Then we're going to put some cheese. Then we're going to put some basil. Now this is so easy, it doesn't even get cooked. You have your, your chapatis already cooked, so it's not much work in this at all. You're going to put, drizzle some olive oil. Drizzle, drizzle some balsamic vinegar. Some salt to your taste, some pepper, Oops. and there's your smile. So now we're going to fold in the ends. We're going to take that, fold over, we're going to roll, roll, roll. There we go, our salad wrap. Okay, so now you have your chapati ready and you're roll ready. So you're gonna take a piece of parchment paper, you're gonna fold it in, and you're gonna roll, just like you rolled it as a wrap. You're gonna roll it like that, then you're gonna take a piece, you can use tape if you if you have tape at home. You tuck in the ends like this, and then, you, or you can put a rubber band in if you'd rather, but you just have to make sure the rubber band doesn't crush. The roll. And there it is. There is your takeout lunch.